Now after reading Germs vs. Soap, it's time to create a little bit of germ art. Uh, that doesn't sound too good, Miss Q, but I promise it will be fun. Today you're going to have, if you're in class with us, a whiteboard, a dry erase marker, an eraser, post-its, and a pencil in your supply bin. This is only for you to go with once I say go, so don't touch it yet, or you're going to get it taken away. Right now I'm going to use my whiteboard to practice drawing some illustrations. An illustration is a picture in a book. In this book, this is how the germs were drawn. Very simple shapes, usually like a circle or an oval, circles for eyes, and different shapes for the mouth, eyebrows, legs, those little details or hairs on the outside of it. And that's it, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to practice drawing some of the things out of the book. Now, the idea is to create your own original illustration. So maybe something that did not exist in the book that you wish did. Maybe it could be a scene like the germ getting covered in soap and the soap attacking that germ. It could be anything or something that you really liked from the book, like maybe when that germ Arnold went surfing on the wave in the drain. So I'm just trying out different things. And the nice part about my dry erase marker is as long as I'm using it very lightly, it'll work very well to erase. Also, I wanna make sure I'm pressing light, light, light because you don't need to press hard for it to work. And that's important because otherwise you might break the dry erase marker and then you lose your dry erase privileges for the year. I'm going to use my big eraser to erase quicker. Now, if I'm done with my dry erase practice, I can make tiny art, tiny germ art. If you were here with, with us last year, you might remember we started the year with our tiny art show where you created art on a post-it note and we hung them all up in a school gallery. So I'm going to be creating some of these ideas, like maybe the germs attacking a hand or drawing myself as a germ. And I'm always making sure to write my name and class code in the bottom corner or on the back if you don't want to know who made it. But I always need to know to give you class credit. These are just some different ideas that you could draw if you get stuck today. Remember, this is just for fun, just a warm up for a first day activity. And if you want to, I'll hang them up. Now, if you're in class with us today, you'll have a sanitizing spray. If you're at home, you don't need to worry about that because you have a sink to wash your hands. But we're going to have sanitizing spray to lightly mist our supplies from above when we're done. That way, they have time to dry in between classes and when I pick them up, they're sanitized. Spray bottles are super special and it's a privilege. Now, it's okay if you get it on your hands a little bit because it is a sanitizer. It's like the same thing as hand sanitizer, but it's not okay to get anywhere else. We're not spraying it at anybody else, only lightly over top for one second, one to three seconds over top of the box of supplies, making sure not to get your papers wet. So I wanted to put those on the side so I don't get my post-it notes wet. It's just a very light and quick mist, and that's all. Otherwise, you'll lose that privilege for the year to get to do that awesome job of getting to clean up your table. All right, artists, have fun.